All right, guys, we've got a quick update for you here. This is our 500 gallon underground propane tank. So you can see it's down in the bottom of a hole. That's why it's underground. The house is up there. So we'll connect in the uh, fittings to this uh, snorkel looking part right here. Uh, eventually we'll trench and connect in there. Uh, this is not the first time we've buried it. Actually, it was buried before I hadn't completely backfilled it and it filled up with a bunch of water and propane tanks are buoyant when surrounded by water so they can and will float as happened to us so what we did just so we don't have any trouble in the future is went ahead and put some concrete in the bottom it's about two yards of concrete according to justin's calculations is enough to hold it down uh, even if the tank was empty so it was pretty simple just made some little rebar hoops through the concrete and these old straps that uh, should be having a high enough rating to hold it as well so it's just sort of uh, strapped down to the concrete so that we don't have that problem again uh, that's about it uh, the only thing to do is backfill there is this uh, black little cap you can see over there i just got to set that over the fittings and then we can backfill around it until we're ready to connect in the lines so that's it for this one. See you next time.